Hi, this is Kyle, and I'd like to briefly cover how to use Remote View in FieldView Cab. Remote View offers the ability to see exactly what the operator in the cab is seeing on their iPad from anywhere you are. To begin a Remote View session with the equipment logged into your own FieldView account, tap on the equipment page. Then tap the Remote View button next to a planter, sprayer, or combine that's currently connected in the field. Remote View can also be started by tapping on the location of currently connected equipment from the map page. After tapping on the icon identifying the equipment's location, simply tap the arrow located to the right of its name. After beginning a remote view session, the real-time data from the connected equipment will begin being mapped and reported in the metrics pane. Changing the map type, editing the legend, or opening a report will not impact what the operator is seeing on their iPad in the cab. The name of the equipment being viewed using a remote view will be displayed in the middle of the map under the map selector. Next to it is a disconnect button that will end the current remote view session and it's possible to view the equipment setup by tapping on the gear located to the left of the equipment name. The portion of the map created during the remote view session will remain after disconnecting, and the map of the entire field will fill in around it after it's received through CloudSync from the other iPad. It's also possible to request a remote view session with another field view user's planter, combine, or sprayer. This can be done by tapping this user search icon in the upper right of the equipment page. Next, enter the field view username of the user you'd like to remote view, and then tap search. Any users who have shared their operation with you using the sharing settings at climate.com will be listed in a popover for easy selection when entering their username. Only equipment available for a remote view session will be listed here. And after tapping the remote view button next to the desired equipment, the user will be prompted to either allow or deny the remote view request. If the user taps allow, the session will begin, and it won't begin if it's ignored or denied. We hope you find using remote view an easy and powerful way to stay aware of exactly what's happening throughout the season.